Happy day there, Ravers. My name is Eproxy, and welcome to this tutorial at Open Help Shop. I'm going to tell you, or more like show you, how I enable that little cat from Face Rig onto my streams. So let's go ahead and switch over to Steam because that's where you need to go. Okay, so we're in Steam right now. We're on my account. If you click over on Store, it's going to take you. Of course, to this where you can search the store. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here, type in face ring. It's gonna bring you to this option for $14.99 or this option for $300. You really don't need this, you know, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and click on this because this is what I use. It'll take you to this. Of course, it says that I already have it in my Steam library, so that's fine. If you scroll here, you can add to your cart. I paid seven bucks for it, that's because it was on sale. But for you, it's gonna be $14.99 unless you wait until it's on sale. What I do here, this is my game folder. I put basically the things that I play the most of in this folder. And I have face rig right here. Let's go ahead and open up face rig. Now when you first click on face rig, it's going to take you to this. It's going to say to um it's gonna say yes or no when it goes to launcher. Click on yes, it'll take you to this. When you get here, you want to click on this launch, this first one right here. Now, when you click on that, it's going to bring you to this. Of course, I already have my cat on here because this is what I use. Now, when you go up to the top, you're going to see avatars. You're going to see environments, toggle picture, and picture mode, auto calibrate tracking, and all the other options here. We're not going to focus on any of these. I don't focus on any of these. The only thing I focus on is the avatars and the switch to advanced UI. We'll go over the switch to advanced UI a little later, but let's switch to the avatars first. Now, after you click on the advanced, you can go back to basic if you want, but we're not gonna go back to basic. Avatar, you get the avatar right here. Let's click on that first cat there. Customization, bam. Now, the way that I make my cat blue, I just go over here. The fur base color, I can change it to blue. Let's move that right there. The highlight color, that's going to be what's seen the most. Boom. Let's go ahead, let's change this red. There we go. The left eye color, you can change that left eye color to any color you want. We're going to make it red right now. Now the right eye color, if you want it to match, let's say you want both eyes, let's just go ahead and link that just like that. Perfect. Let's go ahead and go to props. Add prop up at the top here. There's so many things you can add here. Let's add, I don't know, let's go ahead and let's add this Viking hat to him. Boom. Now right now, as you can see, it's not, it's not attached to him at all. So we're going to go ahead and scale that. Make that just a tad bit bigger. To move it up and down, you're going to need to go over here to the axis. Don't worry about the pitch, the roll, the yaw, or anything like that for right now. So the X axis is actually going to move it up and down. You want to move it down. The Y axis is going to move it over, but it looks like it's pretty even. Now let's go ahead with the Z axis. It's going to pull it out to about right there. That looks right. It looks perfect to me. Now, what you want to do, you want to exit out of that. We're going to go ahead and get our camera. We have our Logitech HD cam right here. There we go. There I am right there, and it's picking up everything. Now we can maximize that. When you maximize it and you make yourself bigger, it's going to make it easier for it to track your movements on your pupils, your eyeballs, your blinking, your head movement, and your lips. So let's make this as big as possible. We're not going to have this on the screen at all. Let's expand that so you can see my big head. There we go. You can see where it tracks my eyes. It's really cool. And expand it more. Now. It's so advanced right now because of how big it is that it's picking up everything I'm saying and everything I'm doing. Eh. <laughs> now, what you wanna do, if you wanna put it on OBS, let's follow through these steps. You're gonna go over here to toggle broadcast. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm really unable to see how to get rid of this so we're going to go through this, right? What you want to do if you want to get your cat on there. Go 
ahead and press that. Now when you press that, you're gonna go up to video capture device. Click on video capture device, okay? Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and erase that and name it face. Make sure you have face rig virtual camera selected. Go to okay. Now once you click on that, it's gonna bring you to this. Now when you have this here, you're gonna to go to filters right here. Click on filters, effects. Go to chroma key, enable chroma key. You can enable whatever you want. We're gonna keep a chroma key though. I automatically have it set on green and it's gonna take that background away. Let's go to close. And now you have this guy right here. You can put him anywhere you want, anywhere. Let's go ahead and sit him right there. And let's take this display capture away. There we go. Boom. So frustrating with the display capture. Anyway, now I have this guy. I can move him over here if I want. I can. Move. It, it has that face rig emblem right there. I like to just kind of move that out of the way to have the cat more exposed. Move him here, here, anywhere I want. Now, the cool thing about that, he's right here. Now. Let's go ahead and open up, I don't know, let's say Roblox. So now we're on Internet Explorer, Google of course. Let's go ahead, Roblox right here, boom. Look at that, there's the home screen, there's the cat. Now all you have to do after you get to where you need to go, when you start a game or whatever, when you wanna stream, just go ahead and go to start streaming. When you start streaming, this guy is going to automatically be enabled on your stream. It's really cool, really simple too. It may sound complicated from the video, but I promise you it's not as complicated as it seems. I hope this helped. Take care, readers, and try it out.